Hello, my name is Vint Cerf. I'm Google's chief internet evangelist, and some of you may know me as one of the co-inventors of the internet. My good friend Nitin Desai asked if I would say a few words about digital learning, a topic that I care very much about. In fact, it's any kind of learning that I care about. It's very important for people to want to learn and to learn how to learn. And the reason for this should be obvious. Uh, as anyone who looks at the, the history of life uh, times and how long people live, uh, you'll discover that uh, our lifetimes are getting longer and longer over time. They're not, they're not infinite, of course. But there was a time when people didn't live much on the average past 35, for example, and now children born today may very well end up living to 100 years old. Just think a little bit about what the implications of that uh, are. First of all, uh, if you thought going to school until you were age 20 or 22 or 24, and then you could uh, essentially have a career uh, for the next 50 or 60 years or even 70 years, uh, this model may not work very well for the simple reason that technology will keep changing um, the nature of work, the kinds of work that has to be done, and it will also require relearning uh, and learning anew for a variety of new tasks that didn't even exist uh, when you graduated from school. So uh, a good example of this is the mobile uh, smartphone. Think of that. It was uh, essentially burst on the scene in, in 2007 in the form of the iPhone. And now imagine all the applications and the, uh, think of how dependent we are on that particular technology, the Internet, the World Wide Web, the mobile phone, laptops, and so on. And now imagine seven or eight more decades of these kinds of revolutions uh, which indeed could take place at least once a decade, if not more than once. So the indications are that uh, we will all be confronted with having to learn new things. So the first and most important thing we can learn is how to learn. How do we learn best? And second, of course, is wanting to learn because there's some resistance to that. I mean, learning something is hard work, and you, you have, to, uh, have to work at it, and maybe you would like not to bother. The trouble is your relevance in the workplace may evaporate uh, if you're not prepared to learn uh, how to do new things. So I would say that digital learning in general is one avenue for uh, improving your capability, improving your ability to make yourself relevant. And the fact that the internet is widely available, 50% of the population of the world in theory has access to it, and perhaps in a few years' time uh, more than more than 50%, maybe nearly uh, all of the world, will have uh, access to the Internet, and that will be certainly one avenue uh, for learning new things. It's not the only one, of course, and that's important, but generally speaking, I think the flavor and, and way in which we learn will have to change. We can't simply drop everything and go to school full-time after we've finished our initial training, and so we're going to have to find ways of learning uh, on the job, learning uh, at home, uh, learning in the middle of a work, uh, working week. Uh, and that will require new techniques, including online learning, which could be listening to videos, could be interacting with programs and uh, solving problems, uh, and perhaps working with virtual or, or, uh, or uh, augmented reality. You can imagine a variety of different technologies coming to bear. So to the degree that uh, Nietzsche and I share this common belief that digital learning is going to be very important, uh, I hope that you'll pay close attention to what the potential is and also how to get there uh, so that all of us, when at need, will be able to learn what we need to know in order to be productive citizens as the rest of the 21st century unfolds. Bye for now.